Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Aris and welcome back to my channel. As you are aware, my first video of the week as of recently has always been no McDonald's and so I decided not to change that and I'm going to keep that trend going. And today I'm going to be reacting to is his stand up uh, at Gotham Comedy Central. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Norm McDonald. Thank you. <laughs> the legend. Thank you. And welcome. You, you, you gotta fucking be exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome to Gotham Comedy Live. This is a, a show like other shows, except uh, you can be uh, uh, dirty. That's what a guy told me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, fuck that shit, because uh, <laughs> that's my favorite sentence. Yeah, fuck that shit. Two-thirds of it's very dirty, and the other one is not. But you go, you go <laughs> fuck that shit. That is the only word that is That's dirty. That's talk about politics and stuff. People, what do you think of that? Fuck that shit. <laughs> and then people think I have an opinion, but I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> but a guy was just telling me, hey, listen, Bill Cosby, first of all. I haven't seen that bit, by the way. My, I haven't seen this. You know, he's my hero ever since I was a kid, because <laughs> I always wanted to be like him, and uh, I got his albums, tried to emulate him. And, but I didn't like his stand-up, but I like <laughs> the way he was as a man. It's this okay. Before, they didn't say he was a rapist on the fucking <laughs> liner notes of the albums, you know? <laughs> as my buddy said, he said, the worst part about Cosby was he was a hypocrite. And I said, I don't think that was the worst part. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. the worst part of the raping <laughs> way up high and then the second would be the drugging okay <laughs> and then the third would be the, the scheming <laughs> but anyways hypocrisy would be way fucking down the line you know like on yeah. the fourth page or some shit <laughs> like I'm no expert but I think Probably uh, most uh, rapists are hypocrites. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't meet a lot of guys go, I like to rape, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know it's not a politically correct thing to say, but I like raping. <laughs> go, God damn, at least he's not a hypocrite. That's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst This is absolutely yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Imagine you're a girl. Some of you will be easier. <laughs> no. no, imagine you're a girl. You're in a gift shop in Vegas or some shit. You go, I'm going to buy this snow globe for my... Oh, it's the most famous guy ever. Cosby. <laughs> and Aunt Cosby's there. And he's like, you want to go to my room? It's the biggest room ever. <laughs> so you go, yeah, of course I want to go to your room. Biggest star ever, biggest room ever. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't even have to be a girl. You didn't fucking go. And then <laughs> you go up and then you're like, fuck, look at this. I've never seen... No, so, eh. And he's like, you want a glass of water? You go, yes, that would be nice. And then you go, why is it purple? <laughs> <laughs> why is it freezing? Like in a monster movie, uh, just drink it. It's famous people water. <laughs> and, then drink, ah. and everything goes fucking crazy and shit. And, and you, they come out of it. They're like, "What the fuck? I was just in the gift shop. What's that? Cosby cock?" <laughs> I can swear that's a Cosby cock. <laughs> that's impossible. A Cosby cock. Why would there be a Cosby cock in my face? <laughs> Wait a second, I remember. I'll call for help. Hypocrisy! <laughs> a man committed hypocrisy on me in room 10304204. There's too many numbers in the hotel room. 10204. <laughs> <laughs> 
God damn. I love hearing your stories, man. Cosby. But when you think about that show, people are all hypocrite and shit. But in a way, when you think about the show he had, he had a regular fucking life. But then what was his job? He looked in women's pussies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you never saw They never showed you that part. <laughs> so in a way, maybe he wasn't a hypocrite. <laughs> I don't even know what's wrong with hypocrisy anyways. What's the problem with hypocrisy, you know? People always against it. I go, you know what I hate worse than anything? Hypocrite. But imagine your life if you weren't a hypocrite. You know what I mean? Like if you had a kid, you go, okay, uh, Billy, you're seven years old now. Uh, you know what I mean? And then you tell them who you really are. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> now, sit down, Billy. I'm going to tell you some evil shit I did. <laughs> <laughs> through most of my life that I've been keeping from you. <laughs> so Cosby was a hypocrite. But uh, it's like one of those little things. You know when people do like real bad things and then they add on a little thing. It's, it happens a lot in crime. Yeah. And shit. Like I remember, uh, I'm just swearing because I can. <laughs> like crime, fuck it, shit. But... Um, like uh, they'll sometimes a guy will commit a heinous crime then they'll add like some fucking uh, like I remember Richard Speck you know some of you are old enough to remember this guy he busted into a house full of nurses raped and killed nine nurses oh shit yeah he was charged with eight counts of rape eight counts of murder one count of breaking and entering <laughs> <laughs> so the whole defense became <laughs> I tell you, that door was a little bit open. <laughs> you could have jimmied that open. We're going to take pictures of it and show it to the jury. Uh, we blow them up. Then the judge is like, all right, fuck that one. Because <laughs> yeah. judges are wise, like, like owls. <laughs> So the judge knows he doesn't want the guy eight counts guilty, eight counts guilty. And on the case of breaking and entering, innocent. And then he's like, hey, what did I tell you, everybody? <laughs> yeah, I'm going victory. <laughs> the lawyer's like, I'm going to victory. The orange uh, thing. Hey, a guy told me that, uh, I don't know if you've heard this, Bruce Jenner is going to go back, maybe, to being a, a man. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Did you hear that? No. That's an odd thing. Because I remember him, of course, as a woman. <laughs> so it's hard for me to picture what he'd even look like <laughs> as a man. I remember, because I'm from Canada, so I remember he was in the 72 Olympics, and he, he won, the, he won the, the decathlon, you know, which is the, 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 the best athlete in the world, was a woman. And we didn't know at the time because he kept a secret. <laughs> but I remember they put the gold medal around his <laughs> fucking big juicy tits. <laughs> <laughs> and that to me is when they should have, he should have just gone, I'm a lady. And then that would have been good for the LGBTG. -G the community, you know, the community. <laughs> the community, know yeah. You've been over, you've seen them and shit, but it's a nice community. <laughs> and it would have been good, all the LGBTQBL. I try to be inclusive of all <laughs> the letters in the alphabet. <laughs> but, you know, then he, but he waited. That's the problem. He waited till he was 65. That's when Bruce Jenner decided to tell us he was a lady. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, uh, is there really that much difference between a 65-year-old? <laughs> at some point, you got to realize <laughs> you're just some old thing nobody wants to fuck. Except your husband. All right, guys. Over a wife. <laughs> Thank you.
Hang on. Don't turn your TV, and we'll be back in a moment. Thanks, guys. You're awesome. Brilliant. Love every second of it. So, that was Norm MacDonald, Gotham Comedy Central Live. And I absolutely loved every second of it. And every time he's trying to tell a story, I just get completely engrossed into it because I don't know where the story gonna lead, where the joke gonna end. No matter what the beginning is, the story or joke, it just ends up at a really beautiful joke at the end. I absolutely love the way he tells that joke. And the whole thing about uh, uh, Bill Cosby, rape, LGBTQ, and uh, what do you call it, Bruce Jenner, it was all brilliant. It was a good comedy stuff and I absolutely loved it. And I hope you did too. If you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.